Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie. This is day three of our 10 day splits challenge. No, we're not going to warm up with a dance, even though I would like to. Um, we are going to warm up again with deep squats to get our thighs and hamstrings ready for the stretching. Bend the knees deeply and reach up and bend and reach up and bend and reach up. Let's reverse this and bend. I really push the knees out to the side here so that they don't turn inwards and reach up. Okay, so let's step into a um, pyramid position here with the legs, uh, feet pointing to the front, and then just step or wiggle the front foot out a little bit further so that you can bend the front leg. And here, the back leg, you can turn it a little bit into a diagonal or you can prop up the foot. But what we're going to do now from here is bend, step back and front and bend and step back and front and bend. So try to make this a controlled movement. So I'm going to switch legs, place the foot and then bend. So it's really about this controlled movement here in front. It's got nothing uncontrolled about it, but a very precise bend here in the knee. And to the front. And change again. Let's do this three more times. So you place and you bend, push back, place, bend, push back. Okay, great. So now you can do this uh, just uh, standing like this, or you can hold on to something for balance. And we're going to just swing the leg here gently uh, in front of us. So I'm just swinging it in and out and in and out. Try to keep it as loose as possible. And this is really not about bringing the leg very high. It's mostly about finding a release here in the hips. So really take this Try to make this as gentle as possible. It does get hard work after a few swings, which is when we are going to switch sides with the other leg and just front and back. So you will feel your glutes kicking in and you will feel your hip flexors working. But apart from that, try to release as much as possible. Try to release the tension from the thighs so that you get that motion in the hips here. Just a gentle swing. Okay, great. Keep holding on to your wall or piece of furniture. Let's kick up the back foot and tuck the hips for our thigh stretch. You can flex the foot here if you want to. And then release, change sides. Right leg, tuck the hips, flex the foot. Okay, great. Now let's again take our pyramid pose here. And from here, I would like you to place the hands here on the hips and try to fold to the front in as clean of a forward fold as possible. So if you find it hard to keep your back straight, then try to think you're leading with your navel here and just go as far as possible. Eventually you will have reached your maximum uh, stretching position here. And then let's hold for three seconds. Two and three. And then you can round the back and bring the hands as low as possible. Feel free to use blocks here to find a position where your back is slightly rounded and you again reach your maximum stretching position for your front hamstring. So from this position here, we are now going to ease out of the stretch slightly further up, really straighten the spine, pull to the front with the head, and then on an out breath, come closer to the leg Rounding the back and coming as close as possible with your nose here to the knee. 
adjust the back foot as you need. For me, it's okay to keep the toes pointing front. So that's kind of the idea, but you can also turn slightly into a diagonal. Do try to keep your heel on the floor. And let's do this two more times. Ease out of the stretch, straight spine, head pulls to the front. Breathe out, come closer to the leg. One more time. Ease out of the stretch, long spine, head pulls to the front. And on an out breath, closer to your leg. Great. Now from here, again, let's place like we did in the last session, the hands onto the insides of the legs and then walk into a diagonal position here as much as you can and hold or come a little bit closer to the floor. And now try to add a conscious rotation of your back foot into a diagonal or almost 90 degrees to your front foot to really take this stretch here into a diagonal space. And then bend the front leg and gently roll up here to change legs. We start again in our pyramid position. Hands on your hips, clean forward fold to the front as far as possible without changing the back. So try to keep your back as straight as possible. Think of leading with your navel. Now from here, eventually round your back and bring the hands as low as possible, as close as possible to the front leg. And then on an in-breath, we will ease out of the stretch, lengthen the spine, pull to the front with your head. And on an out-breath, come closer to your leg. One more time. Breathe in, lengthen the spine. Really pull to the front with the head. And on an out breath, come closer to the leg. One more time. Breathe in. Ease out of the stretch, long spine. Really think of that position where you were pulling to the front with your navel, leading with the navel, and then on an out breath, come closer to the leg. Okay, now step your hands here to the inside of the leg, switch the back foot to be either in a diagonal or 90 degrees in relation to your front foot and find that diagonal stretching space here. So it kind of will mean that the stretching feeling will move from the back of your hamstrings slightly more towards the front of the leg and then bend your front leg and roll up slowly from this position. And then let's find our way into a lunge with the other leg in front this time. So we have a lunge here and um, I suggest that you find something to pad your knee here with um, because we are going to put a lot of weight onto the knee. So it can be a, uh, anything, a towel or a doubled up yoga mat. And let me just show you from here, we're going to lift the back, take hold of your foot here. And um, that's totally enough. If you can't actually reach your foot, try to keep lifting here as much as possible and reaching towards your back foot. So, but if you have taken hold of your foot, you may then change the angle of your thigh here to a more upright position. That is a step number one. And step number two is to pull this foot at the back closer. And let's all together hold it there before 
I add step number three. In your chosen position, try to lift your chest, look up. Now place one hand on the floor before you release the back foot. And we will either slide the back knee further back or place your front foot further to the front. And here find your deep lunge. Now here, I'm going to place one hand here next to my front foot and make sure I have a good support here so that I can slightly lean to the left to my left hand before I again lift the back foot trying to reach it. So you may have to come up on your fingertips here in front reaching the back foot. Step number one, stay here, look front, lift your chest. Step number two, try to deepen the lunge here, bringing the hips closer to the floor. Step number three is pulling the foot closer to you, which for me is a pretty strong stretch. <laughs> Let's hold it here, trying to find our breath. Look to the front. Lift your chest. And before we let go of the back leg, find a good support position with your left hand, then gently let go of the back leg and find your way with both hands here to the floor, taking it into a really, really deep lunge, hips as low as possible towards the floor. From here now, let's straighten the front leg. Find our diagonal space, stretch once into a diagonal. Come back to the front and from here, let's find our entry into the split position. So again, with blocks or on the floor, the most important thing that you find a good support position for your hands so that you can hold your weight. So you can now slide or wiggle a foot further to the front or your back knee further back. Maybe you have to adjust the hands. Find your entry into the split support position. Find a position where you can still breathe and then lift your chest, look to the front. And let's hold it here for 15 seconds. You can flex the front foot. Maybe you want to rotate the back leg a little bit into a different position to find more space. We've got five seconds. We hold for 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And ease out of the position. Let's change legs. So again, we're going to start in our lunge position here for the first stre stretch where we lift the back foot. So number one here is again, lift your back foot with your knee supported or padded. So you either reach and try to connect the foot and the hand or you take hold of your toes or you already Bring the thigh into a more upright position. Let's hold it here. Lift your chest and find your breath. Now bring the front leg a little further to the front. If you want to, you can find your block here for support. And you can stay in this position or you can release and refine a position here, deepening the lunge. And then find your position again and pull that leg towards you or stay in the deep lunge position. Lift your chest, find your breath. And before you release the back foot, make sure again, you've got a good support with the right hand, then release the back 
leg and place both hands on the floor to find your deepest lunge of the day. So if you want to deepen your lunge, the first step is to actually decrease the distance between your chest and the thigh. So you want to almost rest your chest here on your thigh. And only then can you try and push into the space of the hips. So if you, if you are here, you want to reach the floor, the first step is to close this gap and then you can really pour the weight into the hip. All these stretches are a lot easier if we find a good supporting position for our hands that gives us more control of the stretching position. Okay, now from here, let's straighten the front leg. And then find your diagonal stretching space here. Come back to the center. Find your supporting position for your splits. And remember what we talked about last time as well, that your hips do not have to be square. So you may turn your hips slightly into a diagonal. Slightly, I'm saying. <laughs> not all the way. For this split attempt, find your entry position into the split. Find a position for your hip and the back leg, a rotation that feels like you've got some space. Flex and point your front leg. Find a position for the front leg that feels like, again, you've got some space and you're not jamming anything. Find your breath, lift your chest. And let's hold here for 15 seconds. Lift your chest one more time, a little more, maybe even look up. Maybe you even smile a little bit. Most importantly, find your breath. If you cannot find your breath, you're holding your breath. Count together with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push out of your split position and gently bring your leg back. Let's finish in our compact position here, like we did last time. So first find the contact here with the sit bones to the heels. Then move the hands to the front. You don't have to come into a child's position. Just place the elbows on the floor here. Just wiggle the weight from side to side and try to really maintain that contact between the sit bones and your heels which can be a challenge in itself and maybe it's a little bit painful for your feet as well. It takes some getting used to. Just um, stick with me here for the few seconds that we do this exercise. Jen, move your hips from side to side. So your feet are staying in place. You are trying to move the hips a little bit over to the side, allowing the weight to spill off to the side. So let's just take this twice left and right. And the further you push it, the more you'll feel that it gives you an actually very pleasant stretch at the uh, behind your lower back and in the hips. Two more times. Push the weight to the right and push the weight to the left. Okay, great. And release. Come out of the position. Thank you very much. We did our third session. Feel free to repeat this if you found the exercises challenging. Takes some. It takes some time to getting used to and see you in the next video.